For millennia before the advent of Western medicine, traditional peoples have attended to their own medical needs. To the Bono people of West Africa, disease is caused either naturally or by spiritual agents and treated through a system of herbalism and spiritual possession. Can you remove this or not? Today, a new kind of medicine is supplementing the healer's efforts. And these Western-trained doctors and health workers are finding the indigenous healers to be important allies in providing comprehensive health care in upcountry Ghana. The Bono are an ethnic group of the Akan-speaking peoples. They live in central Ghana, a country which gained independence from British rule in 1957. An agricultural people, the Bono raise cocoa and tobacco as cash crops and a variety of food crops, including cassava, yams, and corn. Techiman, a town of about 20,000, has been the capital for the Techiman Bono for centuries. Its weekly market regularly draws 140,000 merchants and shoppers from throughout Ghana and neighboring countries. Many have settled permanently. Today, Techiman is comprised of nearly 70 different ethnic groups speaking more than 90 languages. And their belly swans, and their belly swans, and their belly swans, and their belly swans. It has to be and their belly swans. Primary education is compulsory in Techiman, and most students continue to secondary school. Weekly, students' hands and teeth are inspected to promote personal hygiene, and physical fitness is encouraged. In the Catholic churchyard, a traditional Bono funeral takes place. Christian and Muslim Bono continue to perform traditional funeral rites a week or so after their Orthodox religion burial ceremony. The deceased are believed to have the ability to promote the well-being of the living community and so are remembered and honored. <laughs> Communal prayers are held at Techiman's main mosque each Friday, and Muslims also pray during the week at dozens of smaller mosques. There are all 
also 20 different Christian churches. But most Bono follow a traditional religion centuries old. For more than 50 years, Nana Kofi Owusu has been the religious leader for the village of Krobo near Techiman. Like most Bono, he believes in a single God who created the universe and who also created deities or spirits through which human beings can communicate with him. Nana Owusu worships God through the deities, who reside in shrines, usually kept in a special room in the family compound. The most prominent are the brass pan shrines, which rest on hand-carved stools, symbols of authority also used by elders and chiefs. Each shrine is owned by a specific family. As senior priest and caretaker for his family shrines, Nana Owusu regularly offers food and libations of schnapps to the shrine's deity as sacrifices to accompany prayer. I must care for my shrines very well and give them food to eat. To determine who would take over my shrines after I die, we will gather all the young men in the family. Each will in turn carry the shrine on his head until one is chosen by the spirit and becomes possessed. That person will then be trained to care for my shrine. That was what happened to me. A deity, which is essentially a spirit, descends upon a human being, the presence of the deity in that person makes the person behave in what one might describe as an abnormal way. He may shout, he may grunt, he may wriggle his body, he may even roll on the ground, but all this is because of the presence of the supernatural or the spirit in him. And sometimes, or most of the times, the person who is possessed is not aware of what is